Hello everybody. A linker script tells the linker how to map your programs sections like the test, the data, and the BSS to the memory layout of your microcontroller. Think of it as a blueprint that helps your code live in the correct places in the flash and RAM. Breaking down the linker script, there are four main parts. We have the entry, we have the memory block, the stack initialization, and the last part is the sections block. So this is what we are going to do. I want you to go to where your program was created and create a file and call it link.ld. Now in this file, we are going to write the linker script for our simple program. The first part is the entry, write entry and inside entry, you will write our reset. And right beneath that, we will declare our memory block. Now, before we write the memory block, I want you to open your reference manual. I'm using the STM32G0B1 RE board. From the reference manual, the starting address of the flash 0x08000000. That is a long number. Now, on the left, right here, the RAM, which starts at 0x2000, then four zeros. In the linker script for the memory block, we are going to declare the starting address of our flash and RAM and also the size of each. When we scroll down, the starting address of the RAM was this and it has a size of 144 kilobytes. On top of that, we have another section, but it's reserved. We will also look for the main memory flash that starts at an address of 0x08. It's right here. It has a size of 512 kilobytes. This is what we need to write the memory block of our linker script. Come back here. So we just write memory just like that. You open your bracket and we can start with the flash. Inside your put IREX, I will explain in a bit, but more importantly, we want to write the address. That is the starting point. Okay, go back here. This is the flash and this is the starting address. Let me just copy it. Let's paste it right here. Make sure you close the space. We will bring comma and we will write the size. Okay. Instead of using size, we will use length. Okay. So let's just write length and the length was 512 kilobytes. On the next line, we can declare the SRAM. Now inside the SRAM, I will put RWX. Let's do the same right origin and let us copy the origin for the SRAM, the starting address. Copy it and let's paste it, remove space and also the length is 144 kilobytes. Now, if you are using a different microcontroller, just look at your reference manual and write these dimensions accordingly. The explanation is really simple. Okay, the first part is entry. All that we are saying is that we are specifying the entry point of the program, which is typically the reset handler. You remember when we were talking about the interrupt service routine, we said a second interrupt service handler in the vector table is reserved for the reset function exactly okay so we are specifying the entry point and we are also telling the linker where execution should start after the microcontroller powers on or reset now with the memory session right here we are giving the starting address of the flash inside the flash we have rx so the rs indicates that the flash is readable and executable so whatever we put inside the flash can be read and it can be executed things like test and read only data are stored inside the flash. What we are doing with the second line is that we are indicating the starting address of our RAM and we are allocating amount of data storage for the stack. The RWX permissions allow for reading, writing and execution. The next session is the stack initialization and as we said the RAM is for data storage and stack. So we are just going to point our stack to the last part of the RAM so that when values are added, the RAM will keep on coming down. And when values are removed, the RAM goes back up. So right here is e stack and the origin will be our SRAM. We want to point to the last part and we bring a comma. Very easy. The E stack, as you can see here, is set to the top of the SRAM, which is the end of the defined memory region. The stack will grow downward from this address during program execution. So whenever you call a function, a function will be placed on the stack. You call another one, it will be placed on the stack and the stack keeps on growing downward. And when you remove item, it goes back to the highest point of the RAM. The next block is the sections block. And this is where 
we map specific code and data session to their respective memory regions. So quickly, I want you to create that block. Let's call it session and open a big curly bracket like this. And on top of it, we will write vectors. You remember the vector table? Yes, we will write it here and inside we will do this. Keep. Let's add two more parts here. And the last part will be the read only data. Now, what we mean by this is right here, the vector table, which holds the interrupt and the exception handlers is placed on top of the flash right here. The keep directive ensures that the vector session is not discarded by the linker, even if it seems unused. So we are making sure that it keeps the vector table right on top. The dot test section, it holds the executable code and the dot arrow data right here. It contains read only data. For example, the constants that we are going to use, they are read only. You can change them. Both of these are stored in flash memory since they do not change during runtime. Leave some space and let us write the data section. The data begins, it ends, come after the curly bracket and as from flash. This section, that is the data section, it contains initialized variables. During startup, they are copied from the flash where they are stored initially to the SRAM. Now, the S data, start data, it marks the start of the data in SRAM and the end data, it marks its end. The add flash you see here, it ensures that the initial values are stored in flash. SI data here, it holds the flash address of the initial data used during the startup process to perform the copy. So when you are starting, the data is in the flash and load the data from the flash into the RAM. What about the values that you don't initialize straight away? Well, they will go to the BSS session. So let's write that. Dot BSS. At the end of the curly bracket, we are putting this in the RAM. The BSS section, it contains uninitialized variables. These are placed in SRAM and are cleared to zero during startup. Whenever you write a code and you just declare a variable like int h and you do not initialize it, you leave it like that, it will be set to zero. Underscore SBSS and the EBSS, they mark the start and the end of the BSS section. The last part of our linker script will be alignment. We will do dot equal and we write a line into bracket we write eight after that we can bring this and we will end our linker script the align ensures memory alignment for performance and compliance with the microcontrollers architecture now if you go to the first video in the series Maybe you can see it right here. We said that microcontrollers come in different architectures. So basically, the linker script will organize your program in a way that matches the memory layout of your microcontroller. It places the code and constant data in flash. It initializes the variables in the SRAM and it will set up the stack at the top of the SRAM. By understanding this, you can customize your linker script to fit your specific application needs, such as adding custom sessions or optimizing memory usage. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos in our bare metal programming series. See you in the next video where we will load the linker script into our projects and test it out.